Hey guys, I'm Laurie and welcome to my channel. I have a prenatal yoga flow coming your way. Anyone can do it, but it's specifically designed for all my beautiful pregos out there. So if you have an established yoga practice, if you don't, if you do, I want you to double check and triple check with your doctor. Make sure that this exercise is good for you while you're carrying this beautiful baby. Also, during this practice, I want you to pay careful attention to the signals that your body gives you. If something does not feel right, do not do it. During most poses where I needed a different option or modification, I will offer that to you as well. So always take that option if you need it, back out of the pose, meaning just reduce your range of motion, um, and if something doesn't feel right, usually your body is going to send your brain a signal saying, no, that doesn't feel right. It felt good before I was pregnant, but not now. If that happens, don't do it. Come to a pose that feels good to you. Another option that I always like to have when I'm pregnant is these blocks. These blocks can help us so much. It's not an aid. It's not a crutch. It's there to deepen your experience. So when I, my last pregnancy, I pretty much traveled with a block in my hand from pose to pose. It just took some pressure off of my joints, um, allowed me to come out of poses and feel things that I would not be able to feel without these. So grab yoga blocks if you have them. If not, grab a book. So this is pretty similar in size to a big thick book like Lord of the Rings. If you have that lying around, big old book, big old novel, grab it, Gone with the Wind maybe, and use that instead. Make everyday household items into yoga props. All right, enough of me talking. Yes, let's begin. So come into a nice, easy seat. Start to deepen the breath and just roll the shoulders. One more thing before we begin. So I'm not pregnant and this is a prenatal yoga flow. So you may be like, what the heck does this girl even know about anything? And let's go the other way with the shoulders, go forward. Well, I've, I have two small children of my own and I taught while I was pregnant, I taught yoga class while I was pregnant and found the moves moves and poses and an exercise regimen and a yoga flow that worked for me. I know poses that did not work for me. Now everyone is different. What felt good for me maybe doesn't feel good for you, but that's just my backstory. All right, let's bring the awareness to your breath. One hand on the belly and one hand on the heart. Start to fill the lungs and the belly with air. And then as you exhale, feel both the hands go in and out at the same time. Start to bring attention to your intention for this time. This is a special time, special bond for you and your baby and your belly. Everything is okay. If your eyes are closed, start to flutter the eyelids. And then take the hands off the heart and the belly and just place them on the knees. Extend the right leg long. I'm going to turn to the side of my mat so you guys can see me a little bit better. Right leg is long, right toes flex towards the chest. I want you to spin the heart towards the left side of the room. Right hand can go on the quad or the shin. Take that left hand as you inhale and reach it up and over towards those right toes. So here's what I mean by just coming out of a pose or reducing your range of motion. Uh, it, instead of reaching like this, right now at this time, depending how far along you are, you may be right here, you may be down here, you may be able to still reach for those toes. But in this pose, what I want you to focus on is keeping that left sits bone grounded, not collapsing in that chest, so drawing that left shoulder back, and then reaching around. Any discomfort along this left side, then just come out of it, just like I just did. I 
One more deep inhale. And then as you exhale, cartwheel with this left arm, start to press through the left palm, reaching the left hips off the ground, and then reach that right arm overhead, creating one nice long line from your right toes to the right fingertips. Little side body stretch. One more inhale here. And then as you exhale, release the hips back down very slowly, right hand on the shin or the quad, and reach that left arm up and over. So this isn't a hamstring stretch, this is more gonna get your left obliques, left hip, just your entire left side body. We'll get that hamstring in one minute. One more inhale. Then as you exhale, cartwheel the arm, reach the right arm towards your left side of the room. One more inhale. Then as you exhale, start to fire up your right side obliques, come on to the left fingertips, and then feel the right oblique start to work as you draw the right arm towards that right leg, left arm reaches up. So a little gate pose here. We're in a little variation of the gate pose, my other gate pose version. But this time, same arm, same leg, reaching towards the same side. Again, don't collapse in the shoulder. Work on drawing that left shoulder blade back and reaching towards the right side of the room. We are going to be using your core just a little bit today, which isn't unfamiliar for prenatal yoga and exercises, but we're really going to fire up those obliques, the sides of the waistline. One more deep inhale. And then as you exhale, then start to bring that left shoulder down, start to bring the left knee in. You may need your blocks here. Left leg is going behind, right toes are flexing towards the chest. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, come down as much as you can, feeling a nice stretch along the back of the right hamstring. And so, if you're, depending how far along you are, you may be able to have your entire body on a balance beam, or an option here, as you can come out of it, take the right leg, and just bring it a little wider towards the right side of your mat. So here, I'm gonna give you a different, different view. So I was right here, but towards the end of my pregnancy, I may be right here. So that's an option, it's just creating the space that you need to feel good. And if I was in my third trimester, I would be having blocks right here as well. Take one more inhale. Then as you exhale, curl the left toes under, start to bring the left knee out towards the left side, and then let's come into Skandasana. So again, you may be all the way down here. This is really gonna hit that right hip groin, right groin area pretty intense. So if you wanna start up here, what I want you to do is just work on drawing that left leg back to open up that left hip. So work on drawing the back of the left knee outside of the left knee towards the back of the room and then get into it. So you may be up here or you may be down here. Another option is just to walk your leg in. So start to get into this pose. If you'd like to go a little bit farther, take that left arm, reach it up and over as the right arm spins open. One deep inhale. As you exhale, bring the right arm down and just walk it over to the other side bending the right knee, left toes flex towards the chest, right arm reaches out and over, left arm reaches up. Again, instead of down here, an option is just to always come here, come out of the pose. One more deep inhale, and then as you exhale, take the right arm in front, left arm behind, and guide yourself down very, very slowly, very carefully. We're about to do the other side. So left leg is long, left toes flex towards the chest, right foot to the inside of that left thigh. Turn the heart open towards me or your right side of the room. Left arm goes down, right arm reaches up and over. Keep that right sits bone grounded. So we're not down here. Right sits bone grounded, reach it up and over. So this is probably where most of us are gonna be. If you're really flexible, maybe you're grabbing towards those toes, maybe not. And if ever I come out of a pose and you wanna stay there longer, 
always feel free to do that. One more inhale here. As you exhale, cartwheel the arm, right hand presses against the ground, and those hips go up and over, left arm reaches towards the right side of the room. Guide yourself back down to a seated position. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach towards your left toes. And then as you exhale, cartwheel that arm, press through the right palm, reach the left arm towards the side of the room. Here's where we start to fire that oblique up. So bring it to the right fingertips, those right fingertips, fire up that left side oblique, and slowly release the right fingertips up and reach that left arm up and over. So just cart wheeling the arms until we come into your gate pose. And somehow I got off of my mat. So let's just fix that. So really reach that right shoulder blade behind you and reach that right hand towards the left side of the room. One more deep inhale. Then as you exhale, start to turn the body towards your left toes. Right foot is behind, left foot is in forward, in front. Inhale up as you exhale. You may want your blocks here. I highly recommend your blocks. Grab mine, inhale, and then exhale, bring it down. So my blocks are on my medium height. When I was in my third trimester, I traveled with my blocks like these in my hands from pose to pose, and I recommend you doing the same. So even if your left foot, even if your width and your stance is mat distance, I still want you to work on bringing the left hip back, right hip forward, and then folding down. So you're still gonna be able to fold down. You may just be out here a little bit instead of right here on that balance beam, your feet just may be a little wider. And I would always take my left hand to the inside, but still work on scissoring the legs, left hip back, right hip forward, and then bringing it down. You'll still feel that stretch along the back of the left hamstring. Start to turn. If you have those blocks, just take them with you. Turn towards the front of your mat, curl the right toe under, heel and toe out, and release that right hip down. So again, you may be down here. You may have to come up. Find what works for you. Once you get there, I want you to work on pressing the back of the right knee open to work on that right hip, right groin area, and then twist the heart, reach the left arm out and over. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, bring the left arm back down. Walk the hands in front of the face. Heel toe the feet in, coming into a little goddess variation. Knees stacked over the ankles and slowly rise up to a neutral spine. Hands come to the quads. You'll feel a nice burning sensation along those hamstrings. Your glutes are fired up. So a tendency when you're pregnant is to want to have that tilt back. So really what I want you to work on is drawing the tailbone down and then sinking down into it, keeping a nice neutral spine. Again, your option is to just come out of it ever so slightly. Instead of down here, you may be up here. As you inhale, reach the arms overhead, straighten the legs, and then as you exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, come down to that little goddess variation. Inhale up and reach. Exhale down and strengthen. Inhale up and reach. Exhale down and strengthen. Let's do that twice more. Inhale up, lengthen. Exhale down, strengthen. One more time. Inhale up. This time as you exhale, I want you to hinge from the hips. Hinge, hinge, hinge. When you can hinge no more, let's start to forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand and just sway left and right for a little ragdoll variation with wide legs. So not only are you releasing tension in the back, all the way from the lower back, mid back, upper back, you can give yourself some yeses and nos, but every time you sway from side to side, you're feeling a nice release along one of the backs of the hamstrings. 
bring all swing to a stop. Start to turn towards that left foot and bring the left toe to the top of your mat. Set the right foot to meet the left, about hip distance apart. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Let the head hang even heavier. Bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg back. And then release the knees down. So you're in a little different variation of a plank. You're still creating one nice long line from the top of the crown to the shoulders to the backs of the knees. Now this is an option. My first pregnancy, Plank did not feel, plank felt weird. My second pregnancy, it didn't. So every pregnancy is different. Check it out with your body, see how it feels. So this is your option. You can always bring those knees off, but any discomfort, especially if you're in your third trimester, come down to your knees. Inhale, crown reaches forward, shoulders shift slightly over the elbows, and then release those hips down, still letting the quads rest heavy on the mat. Give yourself a gentle sway to the right, releasing the right hip down. Look over that left shoulder. Oh, that feels wonderful. Inhale back to center, and then release the left hip down. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center. This time as you exhale, curl the toes, start to press through the palms, lift the knees off, and send those hips up and back. Start to pedal out the heels right and left. Let's hold one side, so deeply bend the left knee, release the right heel down, right leg is straight, keep pressing that mat away, driving the chest towards the quads, slight pinch of the shoulder blades. Let's switch sides, deep bend in the right knee, left heel reaches towards the ground. Both heels reach towards the ground, inhale, look up at the hands as you exhale, just tiptoe your feet forward, about shoulder width apart. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, root rise. Reverse swan dive it up. Grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand and give yourself a side bend up and over to the right. That will give you a different view. So a side bend up and over to the right, looking up to the left, and the hands are going to the right. Keep the left foot grounded, so make sure you're rooted through all four corners of that left foot. Inhale back to center, switch sides, grab a hold of the right wrist. With the left hand, reach it up and over to the left. Look up and over to the right. Inhale back to center, little back bend by looking up. And then as you exhale, step the right leg back. You're coming into a high lunge. So, options here. Right now, my feet are very close together. Not from my heel to my toes, but I mean like I'm standing on a balance beam. What we can do is instead of having that balance beam stance, is pretend like we're on railroad tracks. So my left foot is wider, my right foot goes behind. So think about bringing the left pinky over to the left side of the mat, and the right pinky over towards the right side of the mat. What we're doing is just creating space. You're gonna need some space right now. And then you're gonna need some space definitely after that baby. Hit me up. <laughs> Hit me up when that baby goes to nap time. Oh, you're in for a treat. I promise. Inhale, arms reach up. Little back bend. Exhale into a neutral spine. Inhale, this time reach that right hand up and over and let that left hand just kind of dangle. Come back to that neutral spine. Another option is just to reduce that range of motion in the back knee. So instead of down here, you're, you're kind of up here a little bit. Find what works for you. Inhale, start to straighten the legs. Reach the arms towards the sky. As you exhale, come down to a lunge. Reach the shoulder blades behind you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, draw those hands behind, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take it behind. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take it behind and hold. Release the right heel down and come into warrior two. Heel toe, if it feels good, heel toe that left foot back to about 
the middle of the mat, aligning the left heel up with the right instep. Start to work on drawing the left thigh, the outside of the left thigh, towards the back of the room so we're not collapsing that knee in, working on pressing it behind. Another option is just to come out of it. So instead of the knee stacked over the left ankle, just come out of it a little bit. Arms reach long, shoulders away from the ears. Flip that left palm, inhale, reach it up. As you exhale, reach up and back, little reverse warrior. And this is gonna feel really good. Start to straighten that left leg and reach even more. Start to fire up this left side oblique, reach the left arm up towards the sky before sliding it down that left leg, coming into your variation of triangle. So your hand can be on your shin, it can be on your quad, or you can have that block, which is my favorite option, working on drawing the right shoulder blade behind you, maybe even going from that for that half bind if that feels good. One more deep inhale. And then as you exhale, release the right hand down, move that block. Both hands come to the inside of that left foot. Step that left leg back, you're in a plank. Release the knees if you would like. And then release the tops of the feet, hips go down. Little variation of upward facing dog. Let's take a look over the left shoulder, releasing the right hip. Inhale back to center. Left hip down, look over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center. Start to curl the toes, lift the knees, send those hips up and back. Pedal out the heels, left and right. Both heels reach towards the mat. Inhale, look up at the hands, tippy toe towards the front of your mat. Feet hip distance apart, inhale, flat back. Exhale, let that head hang even heavier. Bend the knees, root to rise, reverse, slow dive it up. Grab a hold of the left wrist with the, the right hand and reach up and over to the right. Inhale, back to center, just switch sides, reach up and over to the left. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, take that left leg back. You're in your variation of a lunge. Remember, widening the stance will be challenging, but it is a great option. So the less wide the stance, the more challenging, the wider the stance is a little different feel. It's a great option. Arms go up, inhale, start to look up towards the sky, challenge your balance, and then exhale, bring it to a neutral spine. Release the right hand down, inhale, left arm reaches up and over towards that bent knee, feeling it along the front of the left hip, and then bring it back to that neutral spine. Inhale, straighten both legs. As you exhale, deepen that lunge, draw the shoulder blades together, hands reach behind. Inhale, straighten and lengthen. Exhale, bend and deepen. Inhale, strengthen, lengthen. Exhale, bend it down. Draw the shoulder blades together. Puff the chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, here. Take that left heel down. Heel toe, that right heel to the back instep. And the hands reach forward and back for warrior two. Gaze is right over that ring finger. Work on pressing the outside of this right leg towards the back of the room so you're not collapsing that knee in. Draw it open and then start to strengthen. Palm flips up towards the sky. Inhale, reach that right arm forward. As you exhale, send that arm up and back. And we're all gonna take a sigh of relief as we straighten that right leg and deepen the stretch. Start to fire up that right side oblique by reaching the right hand towards the front of the room as the left arm reaches up towards the sky. Just slowly bring that right hand down. Remember, if you need your block, place it to the inside of that left leg, working on drawing that left shoulder black so we're not collapsing and no rounding of the spine. Draw that left shoulder blade back, really opening the chest. And if you're planning on breastfeeding, this is a great stretch because I always found myself kind of slunched over. 
One more deep inhale. As you exhale, both hands go to the inside of the right foot. Send that right leg back. You're in a plank. Release the knees down. Inhale here. As you exhale, top of the feet down, hips just sink. We're holding center. As you exhale, curl the toes under, send the hips up and back, little downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at the hands as you exhale, just tippy toe forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reverse swan, dive it forward. This time as you exhale, just step that right leg back. We're going straight into your lunge. Inhale up, little back bend. As you exhale, left hand goes down, right arm reaches up and over towards that bent left leg. Inhale to center, exhale deepen. This time as you inhale, straighten and lengthen. As you exhale, strengthen and reach back. Inhale to rise, exhale back. Inhale to rise, exhale deep. One more, inhale it up. Exhale, down and hold. Release the right heel, front heel in line with that back instep. Arms reach forward and back, warrior two. Inhale, left arm forward, flip the palm as you reverse it, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten the leg. As you exhale, fire up that left oblique. Cartwheel that left arm until it finds the left leg. Slide it down, find your end range motion, little triangle. So what we did just there is we fired up that left side oblique to bring our body to the left side. Now slowly start to fire up that right side oblique, bring that left hand off until you can cartwheel and do the same thing. Keep the legs straightened and we're just gonna do this a few more times. So the arm that is reaching towards that side, the opposite oblique starts to fire up and do the work and cartwheel the arm until it comes down. And just let's do that a couple more times. Firing up the opposite side oblique. Reach it down and up. This time, inhale, both arms reach overhead, heels in, toes out. As you exhale, cactus the arms, deepen that squat into your goddess pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw those shoulder blades together. Chest is lifted, sink it to your end range motion. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, hold. Hold here, we'll be here for 10 seconds. Weight heavy in the heel, shoulder blades still squeezing together. Inhale, reach it up. This time as you exhale, forward fold. Wide legs, heels and toes out. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and give yourself that gentle sway side to side. This time, bring all swaying to a stop. Let's turn towards the other side of our mat. So start to bring it to the right toes. Hands go to the inside of the right foot. Press through the palms. Send that right leg back. You're in a plank. Release the knees. Inhale, release the hips down, getting a nice stretch along the abdominals, along the hips. Start to curl the toes under, lift the knees, send the hips up and back, little downward facing dog, still pedaling out the heels if that feels good to you. Both heels reach towards the ground. Inhale, look up at the hands as you exhale, tippy toe forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, root to rise, reverse, lawn dive it up. As you exhale, send that left leg back. We're going straight into that lunge. Inhale, look up, little back bend. As you exhale, release the right hand down, reach that left arm up and over, feeling a nice stretch along the side of that left side body. Inhale, neutral spine. As you exhale, draw the shoulder blades together. This time, let's add the legs. Inhale, straighten and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades behind. Inhale, up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, up. Exhale, deepen and strengthen. One more time. Inhale, up. 
exhale deepen and strengthen hold that front leg release the left heel back down arms reach front and back coming into warrior two inhale flip the palm reach it forward as you exhale send that right arm up and back reverse warrior we're all going to feel sigh of relief start to straighten that right leg reach just a little bit deeper oh that should feel good start to fire up that right side oblique reach that right arm up left hand comes off as you go into your triangle pose so you either have that block in your hand or you're holding on to your shin you may be even down towards the ground but if you are on the ground i don't want to see you collapsing in the chest and in those shoulders come out of the pose if you can stack the shoulders on top of one another arm reaches long we're gonna do that firing up the opposite side of leaks let them do some work inhale bring it up reach it back keep the leg straight go slow and controlled and then bring it to the other side so you may be able to go down pretty close to the ankles or your motion may be pretty small so by small, I mean you may just be right here. And then you may just be right here. That's okay. Find what works for you. This time, inhale, both arms reach up towards the sky. Inhale, heels and toes out. As you exhale, sink it down. Stack the knees over the ankles. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Chest is lifted. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach it up. As you exhale, bend the knees, weight heavy in your heels. Twice more, inhale up, exhale down. Last time, inhale up, exhale down and hold. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, weight heavy in the heels. Can you bring it down one inch lower? One inch lower. Whenever you find your in range motion, hold it, but I want this to challenge your strength. You got this. This should feel challenging, but this should not be painful. We're holding this for another 10 seconds. Deep in the breath. On your next inhale, reach the legs, reach the arms. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with the chest, and then let that head hang nice and heavy. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. Give yourself that gentle sway left and right bring all swaying to a stop heel toe the feet in about once or twice and then start to sink the hips down we're coming into molasana so we're all going to be pretty different with this pose i'm going to show you what it looks like for the option so this is the option kind of just like that goddess pose pressing the outsides of the thighs towards the back of the room and then sinking it down this is pretty challenging on your quads and your hamstrings. If you have the flexibility, I want you to go very, very slowly, keeping the chest lifted, releasing the hips down. Start to give yourself a nice sway right and left. Chest is lifted, press the elbows into those inner thighs. And then start to find some stillness, heavy in the heels. Let the tailbone hang heavy. Let the top of the head grow long. Start to come back to your intention. Why you clicked play. Maybe it's your board. Whatever it is, acknowledge it. And breathe. Everyone start to release the hands back down. And when you're ready, straighten the legs, forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand again. One more ragdoll pose. I know they're my favorite. Bring all swaying to a stop. Bend the knees. Inhale, root to rise, reverse, slow dive it up. As you exhale, seal the hands to the heart. Start to heel toe the feet in towards the center of your mat. Shift the weight into the right foot. Root all four corners of your foot onto that mat. We're coming in to tree pose, 
very, very slowly. I recommend having a wall or something sturdy beside you just in case your balance gets a little weird, which it does when you're pregnant. But the way I'm bringing you into this shouldn't be a factor. So we're starting slow. So you're rooting through all four corners of your foot. Press that foot into the ground. You should feel the quad start to lift off the knee. Glute is engaged. I first just want you to bring, keep the left toes on the ground and just bring, see that even, <laughs> I'm not pregnant and that was challenging for me. Bring that left foot off. So this is where you're starting. So if you start to feel wobbly, if we come out of it, that's all we do. That's all we do. So let's start to find our balance right here. Root through all four corners. Press that foot into the mat. Glute is firm. Glute is firm. And with this left leg, what I want you to do is press the outside of this left thigh towards the back of the room. So you're also opening that hip. Both hip points are nice and square. One is not hiked above the other. So this is where you start. If you're feeling good, slowly start to raise your foot to your calf. Work on drawing the outside of the left thigh towards the back of the room. Strong in this right leg, firm up the glute, press that foot off four corners. You'll feel the quad start to lift and just firm up as well. So you can find what works for you. If this is good, I want you to stay right there because if you were to come out of it, that's what you would do. If you're feeling really frisky and feisty and fierce, you can bring that left foot to the inner thigh. I'm not going to, I'm gonna keep it right on my calf, feels good for me, but that's always an option. If you did bring it to your inner thigh, hip point square, draw that left leg towards the back of the room. Hands to the heart, find your drishti point, your non-moving focus, find your balance in your center. Here's the challenge. Remember your foot is very close to the ground. If you need to come out of it, do so slowly, have something sturdy or a wall present beside of you. Start to bring that left hand to the top of the left quad and then reach that right arm up and over. Inhale the right arm up to a 12 o'clock position. This is a very small movement. And then as you exhale, you're exhaling the hand to an 11 o'clock position. So we're gonna go back and forth, 12 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Inhale long to 12. Exhale, slight lean to 11. Fire up that right oblique. Inhale it up to 12. Exhale to 11. Inhale to 12. Exhale, side bend. See if you come out of it, that's all you do. Inhale up. This time, exhale and hold. Right shoulder blade back. See if you can go one inch deeper, maybe to that 10 o'clock position. Inhale, both arms reach towards the sky. And then as you exhale, release that left foot down, we're doing the other side. So this side, let's do a little different. So make contact with your left heel, bring all of your toes off the ground, and then replant your toes back onto the ground. Feel a rooting feeling through all four corners of that foot. Then bring the right heel towards the bottom of your left leg, keeping the right toes onto the ground. Work that right hip open by pressing it back. Firm up through the glutes and the quads. So press the foot in, find more length. Quad comes off the kneecap a little. So this is one option. If you're feeling good, find your drishti point, that non-moving focal point. Right now, mine's a shoe or a spot on the ground, a little speck of paint on the ground. You can bring it up to your calf. If you're feeling really frisky, you can bring it up right here. But be confident in whatever you choose. If you do not feel confident, keep your toe onto the ground or have something sturdy behind you just in case you were to come out. Find your balance, find your sturdiness, find your intention. You can stay right here if you'd like that little challenge. Right hand goes to the quad. Reach the left arm up and over towards that one o'clock position. Inhale back to 12. Exhale. One o'clock, you may find that one side is more challenging than the other. This is my side. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. Lift from that left side oblique. Inhale up. 
exhale and hold. Draw the left shoulder blade back and then see if you can go maybe one inch deeper. Inhale, both arms reach up, release the right hand down, heel to the feet out about hip distance and as you exhale, forward fold. Nice job, guys. Let's start to bend the knees, come into your variation of Malasana, what we just did before. Find your little rocking motion. Find some stillness for a split second before taking one of your hands behind you and guide yourself down to a seated position. Hands go behind the hamstrings and roll down one vertebrae at a time until the neck is the last thing to make contact with your mat. Left leg goes long, draw the right knee in towards the right armpit. So we're not bringing the right knee in towards the chest, just creating a little bit more room and then release that right leg long, left knee to the chest. We're not gonna be flat on our back very much longer, but it's okay for this short amount of time. And then draw both knees in towards the armpit. And if it feels good, soles of the feet go towards the sky, grab a hold of the outer arches of the foot, press the elbows into the insides of your legs, little happy baby. Press the hips open, and then as you exhale, draw the knees a little closer to the earth. Once you find something that feels good to you, come into a little happy baby, maybe rocking side to side. Bring all swing to a stop. Knees in towards the armpits one last time, and then release one leg at a time, coming into your final resting pose. Before we come into your final resting pose, if you're farther along, what my doctor recommended for me is after I hit my first trimester not to lie on my back for a very long time. So you can come and lay on your side. Another option is to grab your blocks and place them in a setting like so. One block on a lower setting, one block on a higher setting. You're going to have your shoulder blades right here and let the head kind of hang off uh, heavy if that feels good. That does for me. Another option is if you have a yoga mat rolled up or a a bolster would be preferred, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna place this uh, back block on its highest setting and then place a yoga mat right there. I'll then place kind of my head at the top of that setting. Do so very carefully because this is a little wonky, but this actually feels very good. My head is above my heart, which is above my belly. So this is kind of where I would take my final resting pose, but you can, if you don't have all this, all this stuff, you can just bring it on your side. Start to find stillness. Let the mind wind down. Bring one hand to the belly and one hand back to the heart and focus on that deep, expansive breath as we start to close our practice. Start to awaken the body by fluttering the eyelids, wiggling the toes, and wiggling the fingers. If you're on your side, just use that outside hand to guide you up. If you're in something like this, roll over to the side and roll up very slowly, meeting me back in that nice, easy seat position. Hands come to the heart. One more deep and expansive breath, filling up the belly and the lungs at the same time. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope everything felt wonderful. If there's something that didn't or something that you would like to see during this amazing journey of your pregnancy, guys, comment below. Um, I would love to make it for you.
Have a wonderful day, guys, and namaste.